Okay, we have Paul Winters here. Paul, thank you very much for joining us at the training. Welcome, Ryan. Um, I know you've been researching the live system. In fact, I probably spoke to you about three years ago, maybe two, three years ago. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if you can tell me, uh, what was the final uh, decision that made you invest in the life system? I think it had to do with talking to one of the other practitioners who's been doing it for only a few months and uh, her, her experience with how easy it was to learn how to use, that was, that was one of the biggest things. Now your website um, has been going really well I believe, I wonder if you'd want to perhaps uh, share some information that's available on your website? Oh, my website is about alternative cancer treatments, and uh, I'd like to say that all the information is free, and that I've applied uh, 10 years of technical writing experience to making the information very easy to locate. I have a, uh, a table that addresses 12 different cancer treatments, and about 10 different aspects of each cancer treatment, and each aspect is rated with a number and a color. And you can click on the number, and you'll go to the information that is for that cancer treatment and for that aspect. So you can very quickly go to exactly where you want to from one central location. And what is that website address, Paul? That's alternativecancerruntogether.us. And what made you set this website up? Well, that's a long story, but um, basically my sister was killed by chemo. And then someone told me that there were these alternative cancer treatments that were actually valid. And I... Uh, investigated it and was flabbergasted to find out that the National Cancer Institute had falsified their test statement. I got their actual test data and analyzed it and it showed that this one particular cancer treatment was absolutely incredibly effective on the cell lines that it was tested against, but NCI's statement said that it showed no biological activity worthy of further study, which was a blatant lie. And I actually contacted class action law firms to see if they could sue NCI, and they said no, NCI had been very clever and that they weren't actually able to sue them because of this lie. And that's, I guess, welcome to America. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, thank you very much. You're welcome, Ryan.